Finally, a few words on changing patient status. There are a number of potential statuses. To see the patient status, please click on this link. As I already mentioned, MD means that the patient has been seen by the emergency physician. When I click on it, a number of others appear. The first of these is MD to C, corresponding to the second tab. We've already discussed MD. Orders and stat order means that an order had been placed on the paper face sheet. At GoLife, we will not have electronic documentation for the emergency room, and so your notes and orders will still be documented on the face sheet. Patients with treatment in progress will have TXIP selected as their status. MDRA denotes patients who are waiting for MD reassessment. The next set of status labels refers to patients waiting for consultation. CONMED are patients waiting for a medicine consult, surgery consult, ICU consult, cardiology consult, gynecology consult, orthopedics consult, pediatrics and psychiatry consults, and other for other services. When the consultant arrives, the consultant is supposed to change the status to CON ARRIVE. This will help the emergency room track the time it takes from placing a consult when the status had been changed to con med, search, etc. to when the consultant arrives in the emergency room and changes the status manually to con arrive. This feature has been implemented and will be available at GoLive. It will be up to the emergency department and the consulting services to decide whether or not it will actually be applied and used. Off-site label applies to patients who have left the emergency room for off-site testing. Patients in queue to be admitted have this label. Those who had been discharged with or without orders have the following two labels. Ride refers to patients waiting for a ride to leave the emergency room and, and AMB refers to patients waiting for an ambulance. Departed labels patients who had left the emergency room without the formal discharge process and expired applies to patients who had died while in the emergency room. Meditech allows you to define how long you would like the patients who have been discharged or departed to stay on your list. To do this, click on menu go into EDM preferences. Now on this page you would have to select your facility in this case the South Lake Regional Health Center. Click OK. Then select the registration type in this case the emergency room and click OK. This brings you to the last menu the three items in this menu are remove patients from my list if no activity in so many hours. What this means is patients where you haven't touched the chart in a certain number of hours will be automatically removed from your list. And you can select how many hours that may be. In the next field, you can define how long you would like the patients to stay on your list after they're discharged. And then the final item is the number of hours the patient would stay on your list after the final status. The final status is departed. You would change the patient to departed if the patient had left without having to go through the entire discharge process. Meditech recently added functionality to allow physicians to indicate that the patient is to move to a different area within the emergency department. To move the patient, click on this button, select move patients from the menu, select the area you would like the patient to move to. Within that area, you can see the different beds. You can click any of the locations, see if the location is blocked in use or clean. Select the location, click save, then click close.